with <clears throat> Capricorn. This is your reading for June of this current year. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is going to be a Thunderdome, so we're going to be reading for you and the person you're dealing with. Cross rosters alike, of course. You pick who you are, and then we go from there. Because that's how we do. Right. Right, so if this resonates with you, good deal. If not, don't worry about it. It's not a biggie. It's just a card game after all. So, let us see what the cards have for you. With my big ass head hair. Uh, three of Cups. Coming together with people or witchcraft. Either or, right? <laughs> Wants and wishes, the high right here. Possibly commitment. Uh, Six of Cups, Reverse. Something from the past coming to the future. Four of Cups is a situation. Obstacles and challenges coming against you is the Three of Pentacles. The catalyst as well as the final result would began this and what would end it is the Princess of Cups. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio type, someone who's not ready to open up about their feelings just yet. And then we have the Princess of Swords. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Someone spying and snooping. That's you, group one. Apparently you got issues. <laughs> Just kidding. Seems like you're wasting time not letting something happen because you're too much on the move. Like you're just doing things, going out and like taking some action somewhere. Probably boot call, because that's what like Knight of Wands reminds me of. Like very Aries, like the hunter. Like once they get you, then they're not interested in you, but if they can't have you. Oh boy. Oh, you got boyfriend. What's your name? You know, that's just Aries all the way right there. Totally in our card. Definitely going in to take some action. Only to prevent this tower from falling. Like, someone else has already fallen, but it's like... They're waiting here, but their time's being wasted. If that makes sense to you. Hmm. Well, I only see one pentacle here in a Taurus to boot. <clears throat> I see plenty of water. I see plenty of air. Plenty of water. Nothing really grounded. Not even the theme. Um. Okay, so Three of Cups, right? I said witchcraft earlier, because the way this looks, it's like bitches conjuring shit, you know, all gathered around like this. Okay, listen to this, right? This bitch over here, you know, they just do that kind of shit when they're together, right? And it's almost like... It's almost strong enough to, like, create something. But all all it's developed is, like, a really negative image of self. You know? Like, I don't know. It's like someone... Like, so many different themes with this um, deck, right? But it's always, like... With the Three of Cups... I, like, definitely people coming together to join into something. But it's, like... It's not helpful. And I feel like it does the opposite of what it's supposed to do. Like, it leaves someone feeling like... It's almost like it leaves somebody financially destitute or just destitute when it comes to their self-worth. Like, almost like they forgot who they were with the Nine of Pentacles reverse. Then down here with the situation, someone is just hopelessly in the grips of grief, loss, depression, anxiety. But we'll make, like, you know, like... Like, there's even a little witch hat in there, too. Look at this. Like, someone is just plagued. Almost cursed. Well, more like hexed, but close to cursed. Right? And it's like they want their guard to be let down. They want to stop, like, almost... It's like this image with the nine of... Pentacles is cracking with the Nine of Wands, you know, they, like they want to let their guard down and it's like it's starting to like, I don't know, it's just starting to come off as mm, like something isn't happening 
for it. What they've kept card for just never came around, I guess. Uh, something about, like, the lovers being separated and nothing moving towards any reconciliation because the heartbreak is right up there with the uh, Wheel of Fortune. Oh, this is such nice chill music. It's necessary. Yeah, it's necessary. Okay, so the Hierophant, right? This is the wants and wish. Commitment, tradition, religion. Could be pastor, could be a Taurus. Could be somebody who's just in charge of like how the congregations run or how things operate smoothly in endeavor. Could also speak of things that are unknown to you. Um, but for specific uh, reasons. You know, you might have poisoned some people. Yeah, like this might be a mafia boss. <laughs> but let's not go that far because that might not be the case, right? But this is definitely someone who uh, holds people to the title of the term papist. He is very much like, I don't know, it, it, it's like people surrender to his authority. I don't know if that's what you want, group one, but that's like, that's a hell of an ego, man. Like, you know, like, Why would you want people around you anyway? People are gross. They all smell like cheese and shit. Um, someone can't let that go. There's something they want to walk away from, but they can't let it go. And that's what's got them, like, losing themselves in it? Like... It's almost like someone is just like, I'm the one who's right. Like... Because they got that red on and it's almost like that purple over there with the nine of pentacles and it's like they're walking away even though they're still slightly attached because it's like they want to be the one who's in charge of everything I guess. But the obstacle and challenge coming against them is that like they are three of pentacling it right now. But it's reversed. So they're not really balancing themselves in their pentacle as much as they are like hanging on to it. Almost like um like with the Nine of Pentacles reverse, a little bit of not good financing, maybe, which is causing them to not be able to offer their cup up or start anything new with the Ace of Cups. That is reverse. Did I have any? No, I don't have any Aces up here. Yeah, it's like they're sucking their own like um, bank dry. All in an effort to just do whatever over here. To just sit there and conjure something up with like their friend that like is like costing them something. Strange person. But it's definitely co costing them something, but it's like they don't realize. Ooh. <laughs> Look at me go. Cleaning up my cards after I nearly knocked them over. But yeah, it's like, um, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah, like this right here, it's like, they've gone out of their way so many times to like, oh my God, it's like the self-fulfilling prophecy shit again. Everyone's been getting that. It's like they've done this before with this tree. Just keep, like, trying to get something out of it more and more. But the tree was already dead when they started doing this. Like, it's dead inside, just like I am. And <laughs> what happened is, is, like, they've done this so much that now it's starting to backfire. And it's starting to suck the blood out of them. And it's falling down on the tree. Well, down's this way. But you get my gist of it. It's like, instead of, like, causing the tree to bleed in order for all of this stuff to produce, now it's actually taking it from the dude who's performing this alchemaic process. It's like... It's like someone's, like, performing this... It's like someone's trying to perform some sort of shit, right? Which they really should not be messing with. <clears throat> In order to keep doing something that they've been doing, but now it's actually, but because they've been doing it so much, it's going to come back on them. And it's like, 
And it's not like just, you know, like if you're just doing random like mojo shit or whatever. This is like someone who's intentionally putting a lot of energy into um, whatever it is they're trying to do. Yeah, this came from the bottom. This doesn't go anywhere yet. Okay. So, Six of Cups Reverse. There's something from the past that someone's afraid is going to come back. Which I'm really not sure about. Like, this person's kind of... It definitely feels like someone who, who's in the energy of, like, no, I'm the one in the right. Which is just kind of like, you know, if you, if you have to sit there and convince yourself you are, it, you're kind of probably not one of those things. You know, you can lie to yourself enough, but it's like, if that one person comes up and tells you what you don't want to hear, it's going to piss you off. But the only reason it's going to piss you off is because, I guess, you lied so much to yourself about the situation. You know, people can only get mad at the truth because, like, they're comfortable. Let's see. Seven of Cups Reverse. Yeah, this is like a self-fulfilling prophecy kind of thing. Yeah, that's the theme. <laughs> um, this person... It's like they are going through the motions where like... Where they start feeling empty. They start doing... The same shit that they did before that they already know doesn't help them, but it's like they can't help it. Probably that's why, like, the Princess of Swords is right in this energy here. Because group one, it seems like some of you who are doing this, because it's not all of you, this could just be resonated with certain ones of you. But it seems like some of you are just dealing with somebody who is like, they don't know how to quit. They are watching, they are keeping an eye out. They are being, like, what I, I said almost like, like this thing in, like, Libra's video, right? Like, Creepy McCreeperson from Creep Street, you know? <laughs> it's just like they hang out in that neighborhood just to, like, watch you from your house, like, three blocks away with their interesting telescope. But they're, but it's like they're really not good at hiding it because the telescope hangs out, like, five feet from the fucking van. And they paid all the neighborhood kids to help them, and instead they just drew chalk lines and started using it like a tightrope or whatever. If that makes sense. <clears throat> but yeah, like, this person's, like, creepy. <laughs> Alright, group one. Oh! Okay. So, the beginning and the ending of this, what started it and what ended it. Somebody was not able to open up. It could be Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio right here. But someone isn't willing to open up about their feelings because they're still hurt about a heartbreaking situation. The Three of Swords. Their heart is still broken. They're just like, I am ashamed of how this has happened because of that. Like, you know, they don't want to start anything new with the Ace of Cups. But unfortunately, that's leaving them really, really out of balance, too. Okay, so, like, this person is trying to take off, right? But they're still snooping on whoever. You, maybe you're the one snooping, but someone's doing this. It, it's like they're, it, it's almost like someone parading around, like, I'm going to take off. And then, like, it's they sit there and, like, watch to see if someone's going to follow them or whatever. Like, I don't know, like, some weird girly thing to do. Like, you know, someone wants to be chased. But they're keeping an eye to see if someone's chasing them, but it's like... What? I mean, this could be a really immature person, too. Or could be a really immature person. So, let's see. We got a page of swords once again. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Yeah, someone's definitely snooping over this entire thing. Keeping an eye out, trying to look out for signals. Batwing flames, smoke signals, whatever it is, uh, laser lights. Ace of Wands right here. So even though they're being like, no, I'm right, they still can't look away and like, they know they're out of balance because 
they aren't dealing with this new beginning. There should be a new beginning. There probably is going to be... Actually, wait. That's another ace. Okay. Um... Okay, so if this Ace of Cups was reversed, or turned right side up, offering the, having that new beginning would balance this person out. And since they are a different beginning might start. Something that will be birthed, maybe, or remember. Maybe this person's trying to get pregos. I don't know. Or maybe someone's keeping an eye out on this mother figure in the Ace of Wands to see to watch how she begins her. Oh, that's even creepier. Creepy McCreeperson off of Creep Street. Like spying to see how this person's new beginning is started. Like the all the bitch got is a rag, a baby, and a torch. And like this person's following with the sword. Like she's the threat. She's even paying attention to. Them. She's just looking at her baby. Yeah, and this person, all in all, just feels left out in the cold. Mm. That's kind of sad, group one. It's like you're looking to see if anyone's looking out for you while they're all, like, partying in the house. Like, there's even an eyeball sitting there looking like, I wonder if they're going to come back in, and you're just standing at the door frame, like, I'm fine out here, you know? <laughs> Like, they don't need to know that I'm looking to see if, like, I'm missing them. They don't need to know that. I'm still right, you know. But we're going to move on to group two. So, two seconds. Nope. Okay. Group two. We're moving on to you. So, we're seeing what you're doing. Hopefully, we will figure out what the hell is happening with group one. If not, no worries. Not really all that bothered by it. That really seems, seems like somebody who is um, unsure about what to do. Because they're too stuck in their head with their own bullshit. <laughs> okay, so. Just saying, yeah. Let's see what's going on with you. Great, two. Oops. We got with you. Four of Swords reversed. You're not trying to think on something. Your wants and wishes are the Princess of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Okay. Fears and rejections. Four of Wands reversed. Like a door is closed between you and another person. Nine of Cups. Uh, wish fulfillment. Some wish is going to be granted. Something you definitely wanted. Hmm. Well, that's groovy. This is way better than Group Ones. Ah, uh, Okay. Uh, Ten of Swords reversed. There might be a betrayal right in front of you. Or some sort of gaslighting where someone's like... Like, let's say this offer is stemming from this person. Right? They might be giving you an offer, but it's a backhanded compliment. That might be the obstacle is dealing with the backhanded compliment. Because I just feel like that, that could be a thing. Um, Catalyst as well as the final result, what started this and what will end of it. King of Pentacles, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Could be you, Caps. <clears throat> but this is like if you were completely unhinged. Or you just didn't want to do anything. You're just being lazy and procrastinating and like... Maybe a little bit of con man. Maybe a little bit of sneaks. Or could be lying about something too. So, keep that in mind. Oh, I shouldn't have done that, but whatever. What do I want the beginning theme to be, then? But I don't know if this actually is you or someone you're dealing with, either. But it could be you, Caps. Maybe someone sees you as passive-aggressive and unreasonable. <laughs> That'd be funny. Uh, two Cups reverse. Separation with somebody else. So two people are no longer connected. As stated with the Four of Wands over here. Makes sense. At least that makes sense to me. Well, kind of. Let's see. Hmm. So, Four of Swords, right? But it's a reverse. You're trying not to think about something. You're trying not to... It's like... 
it's not like recovery as much as it is like resistance or a tolerance to medicine kind of thing. It's like hard, it, it's kind of like if you've like done a bunch of drugs that make you like um, gain like a tolerance or immunity to like certain pain medications and you need those pain medications for your um, surgery. And then they give you the anesthesia and you feel everything and it's just like, it's kind of like that. It's like, it, it's kind of like you gained a tolerance somewhat to recovery. So it's a little bit harder for you. There you go. But you're, it's like you have that tolerance because it's like you're sitting here waiting to see how things pan out somewhere. Waiting to see if you still stay attached to this bullshit or not. Down below in the situation is a wish fulfillment. It's like someone's waiting before they feel like they can recover. Or they're waiting to see if something's coming towards them before they can recover. If those flowers are going to sprout and like all their time being attached to it at the umbilical cord belly button thing is worth it or not, I reckon. I guess that's why they're waiting to eat. I don't know. The situation is a wish fulfillment with a knight of wands could be aries leo or sagittarius who does not want to take off anywhere like you got a wish fulfillment to stick around interesting let's see what a weird statement uh -huh. Oh, then we got the chariot reversed right here for the Princess of Pentacles. I think someone's expecting or wanting some sort of offer from this person. I'm not sure I would want that from this person, but that's your person, man. Go for it. Um, it could be a Cancer. Or even a Scorpio, I want to say. It's kind of like this person looks like kind of like a goat, too, because he's got his helmet on and shit, right? Just so he could just run in and headbutt you really hard while you're sitting there looking at your plants. When he's only like barely at your ankles, so it doesn't be like a kitty bumping really hard. But I guess that's why he's got little pointy things on top of his helmet, too. But that's what kind of reminds me of. He just wants to run in there where it's like a turtle hitting shit. <sighs> Like you're, I think you're expecting an offer from this person, but it's just kind of like... Hmm? <clears throat> Obstacle and challenge coming against you. Group two. I think I was right about the whole gaslighting thing, but like... Someone failing at something. That's the challenge and obstacle. Like, like, the challenge and obstacle is, like, the person gaslighting, having people come against them? It's almost like this person who's in this victory position, it's like they're not going to be in that position for long, and it's like... It's like something they did is going to cause people, like there's a witness back here with the Ten of Swords too. And it's like this person or at least these people see this and this kind of causes a nasty effect to happen. I'm not sure if it's you or if this is the person you're dealing with, but this is definitely like... Someone watches, like, these people watch this shit happen, and that's kind of like, that's when the victor turns into not so much a victor, but some other shit, right? Um, fears of rejections with this person. Like, the door is closed with the four of wands between these two people, and the 
Double's trying to sneak away. <laughs> like he's trying to get away from all this shit, right? Like he's going this direction, away from everything. He's like, nope, I'm out. Could be Capricorn, of course. That's it. So someone might have a fear that like, we're just closing the door on this nonsense and just getting away from it. Cause it's just kind of like, hmm. But there's a wish fulfillment of someone not having the passion to leave. I think they're, yeah, I think somebody wants um, Capricorn to stick around. Even though they keep headbutting their knee like a fucking turtle. <laughs> what? People are weird. All right, Knight of Pentacles. Once again, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo, right? Could be us. Someone might be seeing us as a liar, a con, discombobulated, all that jazz, right? The group ones is weird. It's like, oh, I'm right. Oh. No, is that multiple? No. Um. Oh. I guess that's not so true. This is Capricorn's card. This is the counterpart to the King of Pentacles. This is like... Def there could be Virgo or Taurus, but this is like someone... It's like someone sees this as this, or someone sees the Capricorn they're dealing with as this, but they're really like this, just someone who's got a lot of shit that nobody gives a fuck about, you know? Probably a boring person, because we're all boring in one sense or another. Um, but definitely can create and manifest really awesome shit. Like... Her pentacle is bigger than this dude's pentacle. Like, it looks like he doesn't have much to give, but then it's like, boom. Look at me. I, too, am in a dress, but my pentacle is more powerful. Awesome. And it comes with, like, freaking Wi-Fi, you know? And nobody's impressed by this. It's just like, oh, okay. Whatever. But it's always, like, chill alone. Chill with, like, not dealing with anything. Maybe that's why, um... Huh. Okay, so, get this, right? Let's say Queen of Pentacles here has a better offer than the King of Pentacles, right? When she makes this offer, nobody cares. But then there's this whole gaslighting, like, someone doing something, and then all these people who are bored right here get up and, like, just start it's like her making her offer which is bigger than what the king of pentacles who is reversed is doing um it kind of keeps all these people who are about to come over to this victor guy away from her they're not even interested in her they're interested in this person over here which is like ooh, who did what here at group two Okay, so like someone was salty about not getting their way in this and that's what caused the separation. Like someone is totally burdened with that too. Trying to end the burden, but they keep looking back and getting mad because the burden isn't over yet. <laughs> then it's like, what are you still doing here? Leave while I squish this peasant underneath my staff. Well, I would if you'd quit pulling me back to yell at me. Like, it's one of those things where they, it's like, they're going back and forth where they want to be even, almost, like, it's almost like someone wants to be vindictive, group two. And it's causing shit to just keep going on longer than what it should, and that's why there's a separation here between two people. It doesn't have to be romantic, of course, but it, it's definitely like, you know... Okay, well, whatever. <laughs> yeah, like, someone's, like, turning around and being like, you know what, I could just say all this shit about this person and they wouldn't even give a fuck about it. <laughs> like, someone's keeping an eye out for not good reasons. Um, group one had that, too, I believe, where people were snooping. Hmm. Snoopity, snoop, snoop. This one's actually taking really long. I hate when videos take long. They always do. Oh my god. Self-fulfilling prophecies. Yours wasn't too bad. 
but yeah, this is a self-fulfilling prophecy, but I don't feel like group two, you're the one doing the self-fulfilling prophecy. I think it's somebody else. I think this completely right here is like somebody else's. Like someone who isn't moving forward with an offer. Like this chariot, if it's a cancer, they're not moving forward with an offer offer if this isn't a cancer like this person just is closing up rather than making an offer but i feel like that's what's going to um cause people to eventually come against them or something might like leave their side and it's part of a self-fulfilling prophecy it's like they it, it's like repeating the same habits that caused you to be in the situation in the first place Oh, and someone is indeed, wow, okay, someone is too worried about getting scolded to realize how much of a burden they are in their own house. Like, harsh. Like, stars. Like, this person's sitting on their table, like, they're happy to, to be, like, under other people using them for their games and shit then they would just to like take a scolding like totally tried to avoid that shit like they had love there but they just decided to abandon the love in order to be subjected to everyone else's shit everyone else's like games and stuff and it's just kind of like ah and now they're afraid the Capricorn's running out so it's like I don't know, like, group one and group two does not feel like either of y'all are Capricorns, though. So, I don't know. I think we're just snooping caps, but that's it. Um, thank you for watching my video. If you want a personal reading, my email's down below. I don't charge, but I do take donations and tips. Um, hope you guys enjoyed yourself, and I'll see you for the sh Shadows of Judgment next week. bye bye Go. Go. For real. She likes to take the tip. Really? <laughs>